Last week, Airbus announced that the U.S. Army has once again awarded the company a contract to support and maintain its fleet of Lakota helicopters built here in Columbus. That's right. The contract could be worth around $1.5 billion to Airbus over the next five years. Stephen Pempo visited the plant today. He joins us live in the studio with more. Stephen. Andrea Winston, that's right. This contractor logistics support deal is the largest of its kind for the global aerospace design and manufacturing company. Their senior director told me this contract not only has the potential to keep their highly skilled workers at their factory in Columbus, it could make it a destination that will attract others to the Golden Triangle. This is the UH-72B Lakota. It's a great utility helicopter, twin engine operation, very, very, very cost effective to operate. Airbus Senior Director for Government Contracts Keith Kenny says the UH-72B has about one third the operating cost of a Blackhawk, which is why they are in such high demand. The U.S. Army uses them for things like medevac, troop transport, and training new pilots. The aircraft is a lot like a Swiss Army knife, if you will, of helicopters. It, it can do support and security missions, um, like the southwest border is used extensively down there. It can run drug interdiction missions. Kenny sees the same versatility and potential in the new contract Airbus has agreed to with the U.S. Army. The aircraft uh, get ongoing uh, uh, flight hours and many, many different missions. So the Army needs ongoing parts and spares and overhauls of, of the helicopters, and that's what this new contract does. Kenny says they were first awarded such a contract in 2006 and have maintained that trust with the Army over the last 15 years. It's a little too early to say, but there, there could be dozens of new employees, uh, depending on the scope of the project that's added to the contract over the next five years. More importantly, the deal will help keep the current workforce intact. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of technicians. Um, so they're all vying for different different companies and different opportunities. So if the contract stays stable here, the employees will stay here and work on this Army mission. And it could attract others who want to be part of the potentially $1.5 billion deal. You can have employees that not only work here, but work at other sites to want to come to this location and work and give them a ladder, if you will, to climb. The contract is set to go into effect in July. Airbus currently employs about 300 people at its Columbus facility.